everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, you know what day it is. It's new Transformer Day. Yay! But before that, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me. Hit that little bell and notify us new content. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook. You know what? It's in the description. Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze it. I also have shirts for sale. Yay! I don't know why I do the yay so much. Anyways, go there and hit the description. Go to Teespring. Look at, look at them for a little bit. If you like them, purchase one. I really appreciate that. They're all down there. So, all right. And also, go to T Terry's TFS Club right here. Wonderful website. Wonderful dude. Where I get most of my legends at, man. It's, it's just a... He's a good man. He's just a good man. He's easy to talk to and everything. So go there and check him out, you know, and buy some stuff. It's really nice. All right. Plus, you get new Transformers. How can you go wrong with that? Anyways, so today I bring to you a new review of Magic Square's UFO MS-B20. This is our Cosmos. Yay, Cosmos. Very nice. Bam. To bam. Very nice uh, school photo right there. Very nice class of 95. So yeah, there we go. Let's open this puppy up. Let's see what we're working with. As always, I love some Magic Square. So I'm going to do a Versus. Versus the uh, New Age one. So be on the lookout for that one. But let's see this thing. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Mm-mm-mm. All right, let me get this fella out of the box. I'll be right back. All right, got him out of his box. So, he comes with instructions, like they always do. He comes with a little nice little collector card. Very nice picture. And then you got some stats with his uh, alt mode on there. You want to freeze that and look at it? Be my guest. All right, so, out of the package, not bad. Looks pretty good. Looks magic squarish. You know, it's got that, you know, Nice, uh, what their plastic they use, the, uh, whatever they want to call it. So, I don't know, looks pretty good. So I'm going to take a look at this fella, get to know him a little better, you know, transform him, all that wonderful stuff, and I'll be right back and I'll tell you what I think. All right. All right, here is Magic Square UFO. Very easy transformation and fun. I thought it was pretty cool. He's got that, uh, matte finish. I think I couldn't tell you what kind of plastic they use, but it's the matte kind of thing going on. So he does come with two accessories. He comes with these little guns, his little pew pew. There's a little gunmetal paint on the very end of the tip. And they do store. There's some two little holes back there. Looks like a frog right there. Rub it, rub it. So you just push them down right here. And you can store them, which that's pretty cool. I love when they can do that. So here he is. Cosmos himself. <laughs> what you looking at? Mm. Very nice. You know, a lot of paint. You know, the black right here. You got the orange right here painted. Then you got tons of paint up here. White, orange, uh, purple, red, black. Very nice. You got some silver accents right here or gunmetal. Gunmetal on the tips right here. Then you saw on the guns right there. And some black right here and black right there. Very nice. Uh, these don't move anything, so nothing really moves. So you just, in the bottom, cleans up really good. I love how you got these two little flaps right here. When I transform, I thought, man, there's going to be a big gap, but there's a, on the bottom of his feet, he just, so very nice. So very nice. So I took a, there's not really, you know, nowhere to put a stand, but here's a new age stand. You can kind of just place it right there if you want to. That's pretty neato. It's an option. All right, for comparisons, here is a uh, Wheelie, Tight Returns, Hasbro. Oh, the Gold Bug, a little you know, older uh, Legends. We got New Age. There's a uh, there's a Bumblebee. There's a Stepper and Blue Streak or Silver Streak, whichever one you want to call them that day. Very cool. And here's a Iron Factory. And 
there is Magic Square. There's a Huffer and there's Sideswipe. All right, there's for comparisons. Crapagonics, good old Carmex, and Lip Balm. All right, here is UFO from Magic Square transformed back to his bot mode. So you can hold his pistol right there, holding both hands, or you can store it back here like that. Sticks out a little more, a little more backpack, but you have an option, and that's pretty cool. I think options are always awesome for uh, Transformers. It's a little tight fit in there. And you have the option of taking these off, which is pretty cool. You don't have to have these on if you don't want to. Yeah, leaves a little nub out there, but it's pretty cool. So let's take a look. Very nice head sculpt. Yellow paint with some nice, pretty blue eyes. Then he only uh, turns side to side. Um, the only thing I don't really like about this thing is, you know, you can take it, you know, he'll pop it right off. But when you try to, that's how, you know, he transforms. So it's kind of hard to get him back out. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So see, if, you know, if you push it down a little farther, you have to pop it out. That's how he transforms. So that's, that's kind of a, a bummer right there. That's, you know, that's going to be annoying. If you're going to try to move the head or anything, it's just going to do the turtle. And you're just going to sink in. So that's a shame. So that's a negative right there. Moving on down to the arms. So he's got this orange kind of thing. Okay, so I really was, gonna, you know, was turned off a little bit by the orange because I thought it would be, you know, maybe a low, yellowish like the new age and everything. But right here, there's a picture. You can see that it is and some of them, he is orange and everything. So, you know, it kind of looks like, you know, cheese or something. But I don't mind it now. I think it's going to grow on me. I think it's cool. So you can go all the way up to there for your arm. Go all the way around. Uh, not much of a butterfly. So you got 90 degrees on the elbow bend. He does have boss swivel, swivel, yellow paint right there. So the hand can go in and down, up and down because of transformation. I think it's really cool, but it doesn't lock in that well. So... If you're trying to move the hands, it will start to, you know, fold in. So that's another shame right there. Moving on down the chest, you've already seen all that paint right there. Got a waist swivel, very nice. Does have a nice ab crunch. That is good. Van down, up, back. Nice uh, thigh swivel with the cut right there. And about 90 degree for the knee bend, which is good. You got a toe tilt down. And a little toe tilt up, which is nice, and a beautiful rocker. So he can get in some really good poses for a little, little tubby thing he is. And then you got the backpack, which um, you can fold up like that. There's several ways you can do it, but that's the way it's supposed to do it like that. And it looks like a frog in the back. Rivet. And it cleans up pretty good back there and on the side. So Very nice. There is Magic Square UFO. All right, up and close and personal. From the side. And from the back. All right. All right, DX9 Generation Toys. Hi, soldiers. Ah, oh, some other stuff from other lines just for scale. There's some new age for you. Here's some iron factory for you. And last but not least, here's Magic Square and some Unique Toys Headmasters. Crapagonics, Carmex, Lip Balm, and Squeaks Doll. 
All right, final thoughts on the UFO from Magic Square, also known as Cosmos. Really good. I like it, man. It, it just amazes me what they can do with these legend figures, man. It's so good. So the negative parts, I don't like the head. I don't like how it sinks down. It doesn't lock into place. So if you're trying to manipulate the head, it will start sinking down like a turtle. And it doesn't really have a lot of movement. It just, you know, turns side to side. I wish you could kind of move, look up and down, uh, but that's not too bad. You know, that's, that's just a little nitpick. And also with the hands, I like how they transform. I think that's cool. They go into the forearm, but they're not, they don't lock in place either. So if you're trying to manipulate the hands, it will start sinking into it. So, and it does have a swivel. I don't think I told about the swivel on the uh, articulation and everything. But other than that, I love the alt mode. It's really cool. Got a lot of paint that shows out. That's really nice. Um, then, you know, the transformation is easy. It's fun. Uh, I didn't have no problems at all, and you probably won't either. Um, the sculpt is really nice. The, you know, the materials feel really good. I didn't think I was going to break anything. Uh, articulation is wonderful. I love it. it's got, you know, ab crunch and a white swivel and that nice rocker. So you can, you know, he's a little chubby bot, but he can get into some really good poses and everything. Even with the arms, I man, you can lift up the arms and all that good stuff. That's really nice. And uh, the paint, you know, where the paint is, is really good. It's put on well. I didn't have any issues or, you know, any splats or anything. Uh, so that's very nice. Um, you know, I, I thought the orange was going to kind of bother me, but when I'm looking at other pictures and everything, it does kind of look like it's, you know, cheese orange. So that, you know, it's going to grow on me. I don't think it's that bad. You know, most of the time he's yellow or sometimes he's orange. It don't matter, but it's going to grow on me. So it's not that bad. So overall, really nice. Like I said, I'm going to do a uh, versus, uh, versus the uh, Magic Square versus the uh, New Age one. And I'll show you the differences and everything and which one's better and all that good stuff. So, all right, well, I'm going to get on the floor. I'm going to do some floor time. Won't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. All right. So um, I forgot to mention in the final thoughts, you know, it does come with two guns. I think that's really cool. It just matters. You know, I kind of wish it would have came with a stand like the New Age one did. Uh, but it just matters how you're going to, you know, you know, uh, display your, you know, transformer and everything. If you want in alt mode, it would have been cool to have that. But since I'm, you know, display mine in bot modes, I think the guns are pretty cool little add-on and everything. So there's that. So yeah, legends are so much fun, man. What they can do with these little things, you know, with not a lot of stuff to work with, man, they just, so much articulation and transformations are fun. You know, they put a lot of, you know, a lot of love into these, man. Magic Square... New Age and Iron Factory, man, they put some love into their uh, Transformers, and that, it just shows, you know, and I, I'm really appreciative of that, and it, you know, I just, that's why I buy their products, you know, they make some excellent products. Do, 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 do. Oh, well, <laughs> well, you're drunk, dirt fire. Hey there, Cosmos. Hey, Skylinks, or, I'm sorry, Chicken. Yeah, that's my new name, Chicken. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. What you been doing? I don't know, flying around space. Me too. Me too. I love going up there in space and look around just stars and planets. Yeah. Well, guess what? You get to ride. All right, let's go. All right, you gonna hold on? Yes, sir. Let's go, chicken. One, two, three. Whoop. And he fell off. Oh, poor UFO Cosmos. Well, all right. Well, that was my review of the Magic Square UFO, also known as Cosmos, just like I said. Very nice. Oh, I like the options that you can take off these little blasters on the side, too. That's really cool. I love options for Transformers. I think that's always a good thing. So I guess, uh, yeah, go hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down there and sub for me. I really appreciate that. Go check out Terry TFS Club. Very nice guys. where I got this fella. And he'll treat you right. Tell him Deluxe sent you. And I do have shirts for sale. Go down there and check them out too. All right. So I guess I'll see you on the next uh, Third Party Legends review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro. And good night, folks. Remember the Jetsons? Dun, 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 dun.